and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I made a no sew DIY drop cloth shower curtain and also give you some master bathroom updates. So if you want to see how this space is coming together and how I DIY'd most of it, stay tuned. y'all a little master bathroom update and then I am going to show you how I do the drop cloth shower curtain and do some touch up paint so I painted this vanity navy I have done three of our bathrooms like white walls navy vanity and I love how that has turned out we had like a gold towel bar right here when we moved in so we patched that up and i'm gonna do some touch up paint on those places and then we got this gold towel ring from lowe's there's lily back here just watching me i found this gold mirror at dirt cheap it is from target originally and it is super nice and heavy like we had to put anchors into the wall to hold it up because a normal nail it was like too heavy so we took down just like the piece of glass that was up there it wasn't even like a pretty mirror it was just like a square piece of glass like kind of builder grade mirror and I got this one at Dirt Cheap for around $30. And I love how it looks in here. But you can kind of see, which if you saw my empty home tour, uh, the bedroom and bathroom was this kind of mint green. Like this green color. So I need to do some touch up paint up there because we left the old fixtures up while we were painting so now i just need to do some touch-up paint and then i'm gonna do my little drop cloth curtain i did one in the downstairs bathroom i'll also show you the downstairs bathroom after i finish what i need to finish up here but that's just how everything is coming together i got this super cute green vase at dollar general for eight dollars and i put some of my pompous in there but i just love how this space is coming together both of these little rugs at dollar general as well in the old house i had this big leaner mirror like in our spare bedroom like that i used as a workout room but i felt like this wall was the perfect spot to put a full length mirror and then I have our little clothes hamper right there so that's just how our bathroom is coming along and I'm gonna just use this touch up paint and touch up the paint around the new fixtures and then get the new shower curtain going and I will be done with this space I think I will eventually do gold faucet and gold right here but i'm just really happy to almost be done with everything that we want to fix right now so i am rolling with it like it is now and just changing those few little things and then i'll come back and show you what it looks like after never been stronger I'm up in the clouds when you're around but when you're not it's getting much harder and I'm falling down down I'm falling down I see your face on all of the pages in the scrap 
So as I'm finishing my touch-up paint, I just wanted to mention, I've mentioned it in a previous video already, but this paint color is called Pure Ultra White. We used this color throughout our home and all of the rooms that we have painted. Some rooms were already neutral colors that I really liked, so we left those for now, but we did use this color in several rooms throughout our home. It is by Valspar from Lowe's. I also wanted to mention that this navy blue color that I've used throughout our home, I used it in three of our bathrooms and also on our kitchen island. It is called Dark Iris and it is also from Lowe's made by Valspar. So I just wanted to touch on those paint colors before I get started on my shower curtain. I'm thinking of you shower curtain I will be using this six by nine drop cloth that I ordered from Amazon and also these little gold hooks from Amazon and it's really simple to do I'm sure there are a hundred different ways to do this this is just how I went about it I did one in our downstairs guest bathroom as well and I will share it in a video soon but basically, when you order a 6x9 drop cloth, it is the perfect size. Like if you look up how many inches wide and long a shower curtain is, this is the perfect width for a shower curtain. It is going to be kind of long if your ceilings aren't as high or if you choose not to move your curtain rod up like I am doing. I decided that I wanted to move my rod up closer to the ceiling and I feel like it makes the room feel bigger, it makes the ceilings feel taller, and it really draws your eye up. I feel the same way about like window curtains, but anyway, I chose to move the rod up and then I basically just put the same amount of my little ring hooks on the curtain rod as there were spots on my clear curtain for a ring, if that makes sense. Um, I just clipped the clear like shower curtain that goes inside the shower while you're showering to the back of my drop cloth. Like I said, I'm sure there are tons of ways to do this. You could use two different rods and use like your clear curtain on a separate rod. Lots of different ways, but I found this to be like the easiest way and I didn't have to purchase another shower rod or anything like that. So the 6x9 drop cloths are around $15 on Amazon, which is cheaper than most shower curtains are anyway, and I think they look much nicer. So I ordered this from Amazon, and then I ordered the hooks from Amazon as well. And the little bag of clips that I ordered was enough for me to do two drop cloth shower curtains and I still have some left over if I ever want to do drop cloth curtains for any of the windows in our home or if I decide to do another shower curtain or something like that. I have plenty of them left over.
Like I've mentioned in most of my videos, I was kind of just winging it. I wasn't sure if the clips would hold the drop cloth and the clear like shower liner. I wasn't sure if I should like measure the curtain and decide like exactly where I wanted to fold the fabric over to create my ruffle at the top, but I just winged it. I knew which way I wanted to turn the curtain so that it would be longer than it was wide. I knew that I wanted to move the rod up toward the ceiling to make it just look more elongated and taller, but I was not sure. It was trial and error, and I just kind of went with it, and I liked how it looked to have this much kind of folded over to create a ruffle effect at the top and we have used this shower every day for a couple of weeks like since i filmed this and i will say that it has held up perfectly like the clear liner being clipped to the back of the drop cloth is great it does not fall out or give us any kind of trouble so i just wanted to mention that since I have been using it like this and just tell y'all that it has worked out great so far, super easy to do. And I hope this video kind of helped give you an idea and show you how to do it, what to order, things like that. If you are into budget-friendly and home-related content, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. My name is Logan, and I upload new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday afternoon, and I share tons of home content. I also like to share shopping hauls when I purchase new home decor, and I also share cleaning motivation. So if you're into all things home related, I would love for you to come back every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday to watch. I will also be sharing a complete home tour very soon. And I have shared an empty home tour if you wanna go back and watch and see our entire new home and see what it looked like when we moved in. I think it would be fun to go watch that and then watch my new home tour when I share it so you can see how things have changed and come together. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great week and I will see you next time.